Hello and welcome. Today we're doing a question from Leak Code. This question is from Leak Code 75, a really good playlist if you are interview prepping. And I have the entire playlist linked down below if you are following along. So what is this question? It's removing stars from a string. You're given a string S, which contains stars. In one operation, you can choose a star in S and remove the closest non-star character to its left, as well as remove the star itself. Return the string after all stars have been removed. All right, easy enough. Example one, we have leak code with some stars in there. What do we want to do? We want to find the star, remove it, and the closest non-star character to the left of it as well. So first we could remove this star and T. So doing so, we would be left with L-E-E -E star C-O-D star E. We do the same thing again, get rid of this star and the closest non-star character to its left. We get L-E C-O-D star E. And one last time, we remove the D and that star. So we're left with L-E C-O E. And that is our output. Example two, we have erase followed by a bunch of stars. So let's take a closer look at this example. We're going to find stars and remove its closest non-star character. So we can remove this star and E. We could remove this star and S, this star and A, then R, and then finally star and E until we're left with nothing, which is exactly what our output is, just the empty string. So this problem is fairly straightforward. We are given a string. We want to remove the star and the closest non-star character to the left of it. Now, how do we find the most recent non-star character? Well, we're going to make use of a data structure meant exactly for this purpose, a stack that is going to store the most recent characters we've seen. So what we're going to do is initialize a stack to be empty, and we're going to be looping through all the characters in S. So for character in S, one of two things is going to happen. Either the character is going to be a star or it's not going to be a star. If the character is a star, so if character equals star, we want to take the most recent character appended to stack and just pop off of it. But we want to make sure the stack actually has characters. So we only do that if it's not empty. So if stack, if it's not empty, we're just going to pop off from stack. So stack dot pop. And what that does is it just removes the last element to stack. So the most recent character we appended will get removed. Now, if this character is not a star, what do we want to do? We just want to append it to the stack. So else stack dot append our character. And in the end, we're going to be left with all the characters that are left after removing the stars and removing the leftmost characters to those stars. And they're going to be in our stack individually. So we just want to join that into one string. So we're just going to return a string with nothing in there and join our stack together. Let's go ahead and submit this. And it is accepted. Now, before leaving, we're going to do a complete walkthrough with our code so we can see exactly what's happening line by line. For our example, say our input S is the following string. It's stars with a bunch of stars in the middle. So going through our code line by line, the first thing we do is initialize our stack to be empty. So we're going to have stack over here. And now we're just going to be looping through for every character in S. So we start off at this very first character and it's going to be a star. So going in our if condition, it is a star. We check if stack. Now stack is empty, so this is not going to be true. So we don't go in this if. And we're out of this if condition, we don't go in this else. And we're back in this for loop for our next character in S. So our next character in our string, it is S. So we go back in here, we make a check. Character is not a star. We go in this else and all we do is append that character to our stack. So we're going to be adding S over here and going back in the for loop. Now we are at T again, it's not a star. So we're just going to be adding this to the end of stack. Going back in our for loop, we're at A again, doing the same thing, appending it to stack. Going back in the loop once again, we are now at this star over here. So at this point, we do go in this if condition character is a star and we make a check if stack. That is true, it's not empty. What we're doing is popping from stack. So we're popping off this last element. So we remove this A over here. So we're just left with S and T. And this makes sense, right? We got rid of the star as well as the leftmost non-star character. Now going back in this loop, we are at another star. So again, we're going to do the same thing. We check if stack that is true and we're just popping from stack. So we're removing this last character from it and we're just left with S in our stack. Going back in this for loop, we come across an R. We go in this else condition and we just append R to our stack. So adding R, going back in here, our new character is a star again. So we're in this if condition. We make a check. Stack is true. It's not empty. So now we're going to pop from stack. So we get rid of this R and we also don't need to worry about the stars. We're not keeping track of them. So we don't need to explicitly delete them from our stack either. 
So now that we've popped off, we are done with this if condition. We don't go in this else since we went into the if, and we just go back in our for loop. At the very last character, we are at S. Again, all we do is just append to step. We've appended S, we go back in here. There are no more characters for us to iterate over. So we're out of this for loop and we just join everything in our stack together. So we're going to have S, S, and we return that to be our output. And that's correct, right? We got rid of this star and A. We got rid of this star and T, this star and R. So we get star S, S, and there's nothing to the left of star. So we can't really do anything with it. We just delete it without deleting the leftmost character since it doesn't exist. And we're just left with SS as our final string. Now talking about space and time complexity for this solution, for time, we go through every single character. So this is going to be O of N if there are N characters in our input S. And for space, we could potentially be storing every single character in our stack. There could be no stars. So our list would be as big as the number of characters in our S. So space is also going to be O of and now we just went ahead and solved removing stars from a string. If you have any questions with this whatsoever, of course, let me know down below. I will answer all of them. If this video was helpful, like, comment, share, and subscribe. It really supports the channel. And as always, I will see you in the next one.